My name is Flying Park. I have my friend Steve Hope on my show. Welcome. Thank you, Ryan, for <laughs> inviting me to your show. I really appreciate that. Um, I want to begin with, um, I took pictures at the Big E. You did take some pictures? I did. Wow. That's all my friends. My goodness. <laughs> and what, what happened uh, at the, uh, the Big E? Tell me about the Big E. Was that fun? It was, it was a blast. Now, I see a picture there. <laughs> did you take that one? Okay, can I talk about the picture a little bit? Absolutely. Go oh, forward. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if um, the people out there in, in TV land uh, know, but uh, I'm a professional photographer. And I met Ryan when I was a, a photographer at the Keene Sentinel. And uh, Ryan, you still work there, I understand. Oh, I do. That's wonderful. So Ryan and I got to know each other there. <laughs> and um, while I was there, I took pictures of Ryan uh, in the Special Olympics. That's why you did, didn't you? Yeah. Like and in the track? That's right. I, I went all the way over to the Special Olympic Championships. Remember that day? And then um, um, I, would, I did some videos of, of Ryan doing things around town, which was fun too. And that was for our Sentinel Source online service. So from there, after I left the Sentinel, I started to take more pictures, but on my own. And um, I'm so glad that you ended up bringing some pictures for, for me to look at. That's very nice, Ryan. Thank and you. Uh, that picture that I uh, saw there of the elephant, that is a really, really nice picture. And um, it, to me, seems like a uh, wonderful shot of, of a, uh, an animal that, that is um, very rare and, and um, is endangered. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. And, and was, it, was that at the Big E? That was at the Big E. That's, that's great. And um, what did you uh, use for a camera on this picture, Ryan? My digital camera. Oh, that's great. That's great. And um, do you take a lot of pictures? Oh, yes. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite uh, uh, subject for pictures? Taking pics at the Big E. So every year you go down there? Uh, it's my first year, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, um, is there another picture of the Big E that you have to, uh, to show us today? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Um, now, that tell me about this picture. Uh, who is that? This is a, a famous guy, and he's a magician. He does tackling, and his name is... Um, I think it's H I L B Y. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And um, what did you, what did you, did you see him uh, perform? I did. Oh, well, that's good. So you got your picture taken with a, a celebrity. <laughs> and who took that picture? My friend Bucky. Oh, well, he's a good photographer, too. She. Oh, she is a good one. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyhow, it's good that you're in some of the pictures as well. I got my pictures. Oh, look at this. Uh -huh. Now, did you take that picture? I did. Okay, well, I, I think that um, is, a, is a really nice picture. I'm looking at it now on the monitor, and I'm seeing <laughs> that uh, that particular shot is really composed very well. You can really see the, the baby pigs and the mother pig very well there. And you, you got down real close so that you could get them. And um, so do you... You seem to like uh, the animal part of, for, for pictures. Oh, you I like really all the animals? like that one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and um, now that, See that, that? Particular, particular horse, tell me about that horse. Um, it's a nice horse, but I forgot the name. That's the day I went, the 25th of September. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that is a, that's an excellent picture. You, you know how you... Put uh, everything around the uh, the horse and made a nice frame for the horse's face. Yep. That was really um, a uh, a good composition, very well composed. 
I'm really impressed with how you how you take the pictures like that. And um, so the next shot is uh, okay. I give up. Where's that? The big E. And this and is another big E picture, and they have a, a pumpkin <laughs> display there. And um, that's a Jimboe pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun. I think that's that's a colorful picture, and uh, looks very good to me. And um, so, are you, are you getting excited about the pumpkin fest? About the one in um, Swansea? Um, I hope that goes. I hope it goes good. That's good. You want to try to get over there and see it? I've been there and done that. Yeah? Yeah. Been there, done that? <laughs> yeah? You've seen one pumpkin, you've seen them all? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw a lot of pumpkins too when I was taking pictures of the pumpkin fest. And um, that was pretty exciting when that happened. So, um, do you have any other pictures? Oh, there's another one here, uh, and that's the pumpkin display. Uh, kids, again, kids love that. Right, right. And but I, th I think you did very well not getting any, um, you know, any reflections and stuff in the in the in the in the picture, and um, everything is real sharp. And that's another angle. That's another angle that you took, and that that was just what a couple of weeks ago you were down there, right? Yeah, September twenty fifth. Yeah. Well, you like the Big E. Um, tell me about what you you like to take pictures of in the city of Keene. <laughs> um, my friends, mm -hmm. like remember that first picture? Mm -hmm. I saw like people like that. Okay, and so you take pictures of people and, and your friends. Yep. That's wonderful. So do you, do you take pictures of anything else around, like buildings or flowers or mountains? Um, not, not too much of mountains now, because it's hard to take. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, do you put them on your computer once you take you're taking the pictures? With your digital camera? No. Yeah, you just uh, you go to have them developed. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, I think it's wonderful that you're uh, interested in photography, and um, um, I guess what Ryan, I I brought a, a couple of my pictures to talk about. You wanna you wanna um, talk about that for a while? Um, I do. If that's okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Sure. Well. Oh, where do you th wow. where do you think this was taken, Ryan? I'll give you a couple guesses. King, that's a great guess. <laughs> you uh, you got it right on the money. <laughs> so, do you think that was at the the pumpkin fest? I think that was at the pumpkin fest. And because of the the pumpkin on that. Yeah, yeah, and and. Um, do you know how to, to take fireworks? Would you like me to talk about how to take fireworks for um, pictures? Um, I hope you're doing that with my camera. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Well, what, what I do to make sure that uh, I get a nice sharp picture is I, I, I put my camera here on a tripod. Um, this is the camera that I use right here. And since I'm a little shaky now, I put this on a tripod so that it's nice and steady and then I can take the pictures of the fireworks. Yep. Guess what happens when the fireworks explode? Do you know what happens? They go boom. They go boom. <laughs> That's right. And you, you hope that you can get them when they go boom, right? Okay. So what do you do, do you think, with your camera? To capture the fireworks when they spread out to make it, pretty, pretty uh, fireworks. Take it quick. You have to put it right on the tripod, and then you take a, a slow shutter speed picture, so that you capture not just the quick boom, but you capture them going down and draping. And that's what I caught there. You know that picture that you see there, uh, that was actually a slow shutter speed uh, where I got 
the fireworks spreading out. And if I'd taken a fast shutter speed, I would have just got that little orange circle in the middle, and I wouldn't have gotten any of the fireworks coming out. So I had That's to take crazy. a slow shutter speed, kind of mm -hmm. slow motion, and get that like that. And that's how I got the fireworks. Wow. Yeah. And then, let's see the, the next one. We talk about that. Oh, wow. Okay. So, guess what? Uh, does that guy look like he's going to fall off the, whole, the um, steer? Eat the house. Yeah. He, Eat the house. He was just about ready to fall on his head, uh, and um, that's over at the Cheshire Fair when they had the rodeo. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now, guess what? I took the fireworks with a nice slow shutter speed because the fireworks weren't going to go anywhere, were they? No. Nope. They were there. <laughs> guess what happens when you've got this bucking steer going up and down real fast and you want to try to catch something really quick. Do you think you use a quick shutter speed? Oh. Do you take a quick picture? A quick. Yeah? Yeah. You do. Because you want to catch something real quick right before he hits the ground. So I caught him right in the middle right before he ended up falling off the steer. And that was, that was a fun picture. And uh, he wasn't hurt. So that was the good news. Uh, the only thing that was hurt was his pride. Yep. And um, so let, let's check the next one. Oh, what do you think about that? I think. <laughs> <laughs> now you like to take people, right? Yeah. Well, I do too. I took people a lot when I was at the newspaper. And that was something where I had to get all sorts of different expressions on people. And uh, this, this one, what do you think was happening there? Looks like she's eating something. Yeah, she, she was um, uh, yawning. Yawning, yeah. yeah she, was, she was tired, I think. She was ready for her afternoon nap. Now, what's this, what's this photo taken? Oh, thanks for asking. This was taken <laughs> at the uh, Keene Recreation Department. In, and um, now I understand that you go there to, to um, play basketball. Yeah. Yeah? That's terrific. I remember getting pictures of you playing basketball there, right? You're at the on, Y Center. You're on, at the Y Center, and that's where I took that picture. And that was part of an outdoor uh, yeah. program there. July, yeah. And um, so are you on a basketball team uh, this year, or are you going to play basketball this year? Um, I am. Very good. <laughs> That's terrific. Well, let's see our next uh, slide here. Now, what do you think that is? Hmm. That's a toughie, isn't it? Do you think it's maybe uh, a kayak? It's probably a kayak. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he is in a lot of heavy water, a lot of waves and turbulence. And so, um, what, when I had to get that picture, guess what I had to use for um, a lens? I had to use a long lens called a telephoto lens. Do you know what the, the telephoto lenses do? Um, zooms in the end? Yeah. Everything gets really, really close yeah. with a long lens. And because I didn't want to get my feet wet, did I? No. Nope. Uh, I wasn't about to go in that water. That was cold. So <laughs> instead of putting on a wide-angle lens, I put on a telephoto lens and was able to bring him very, very close to the camera. And uh, that's when I took the picture. And uh, he filled up the whole frame just about. Um, so he was getting wet, but he, but he, um, he did a couple turns underwater and uh, came back up. So he was playing around. It was fun to, fun to see that. Now, where's this picture taken? That was taken in the Ashwheel River down in Ashwheel at New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And um, that was when there was a big heavy rain and the water got big and turbulent. Oh, yeah. And so that's when people love to go on those rivers in the kayaks. They don't want to do it when there's just no water at all and get caught up on the rocks and everything. So. 
Uh, so the, uh, let's check the next picture here and see what we've got. Now, how do you th how do you think uh, um, I took that picture? I'll, I'll give you a couple a couple guesses. Hmm. It looks but, like. Does it look black and white? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. It is black and white. Like the old days. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Now, guess what? When I see a picture even today, in the new days, not the old days, and I think it might look better in black and white instead of color, then I'll t take out all of the color and I'll just make it black and white because I think it will make a stronger picture. And so that's what I did with this one. There was the sunlight was just hitting the horse and the sun was setting and um, everything else was real dark except the white horse. And so that's when I took the picture. So guess what? Timing is important with photography. Because guess with sunsets, what happens with the sunset if you wait too long? Um, it gets dark. That's right. And when it's dark out, it's hard to take to take pictures. It is one, much more difficult. And now see how those special cameras that can do it. Yeah, you've got uh, special cameras, and then they, you have um, lights that you can put on the subject too and brighten it up, just like we have lights here in the studio. So, have you taken sunsets and sunrises before? I have. Yeah? So there's a lot of nice colors in them, isn't there? Yeah. Now, do you, do you own a tripod, something you can put your camera on? No. Nope. Yeah. Well, I would, I would suggest that... Because it's one of those cameras that, it's not like that, mm -hmm. it's like a worker camera. Yeah. Well, I'll show you what you can do uh, making a human human tripod, since you don't own a, a tripod you can put your camera on. So guess what? You put the strap around your head. Do you have a strap? No. <laughs> you got to get a strap. It's one of those cameras that doesn't have a strap. Okay, then that wasn't your fault then. Okay. <laughs> so guess what you do with a human tripod is you put your shoulders right next to your body like this. So you don't take a picture out like this because you're bouncing around, right? So you put up closer. Yeah, right here. This is a human tripod, and then you just go like this, and you you've got yourself a human tripod. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And how do you hold your camera? Like like this. Mm-hmm. And what you could do with if you have a lens on it. Yours probably doesn't have a big lens like this, right? No. Yeah. But if you have a lens on it, you can, you can cup the lens like this, and you can steady the, the camera with this hand while you're taking the picture with this hand. So you got it like this, and I can see you over there. <laughs> All right? So that's how you do a human tripod. It's pretty neat, huh? Very neat. So it's a pain taking tripods around with you all the time, but if you want to go to... Um, some of these special events, like the Big E, and you want to get real sharp pictures, then you can just hold your camera really, really close and like a human tripod and hold it nice and steady. Pretend it's a, a piece of jewelry and you don't want to, you don't want to damage it. <laughs> That's how you can take the really, really, really good pictures. And the pictures that you took, you must have been doing that because those were really, really sharp. So, well, there might be a couple more here. Let's see what we've got going here. What do you think's happening there? It looks like somebody's at the, a lake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guess where, guess where there's a, a park that has a pond in Keene? Do you, do you remember, or is there, is there a park that has a pond in it? That's where we have. That's one. There's another one. Um, there's a swimming pool up there, and there's a pond right below it. Flopping hook You pond. got that right. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, have you ever fished there? I have a fish, but I have been for there. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, the picture there that you, you um, saw, and uh, it's up there now, is um, a father-son fishing. And I think that's always great because I think a lot of times dads uh, like to take their kids, both their daughters and their sons, fishing as uh, something to do with the children. And then so he took this um, his son fishing for the first time ever up at Robin Hood Pond. And I just love the expression on the kid's face um, because he just got a bite and so he's real excited about getting the fish in so he could see the fish that he caught. I think it was a, like a pumpkin seed fish, one of those little ones. That, um, and he was real excited about that. So, you know, I get excited when I catch fish too, you know. And Because um, sometimes you have to wait and wait when you, before you catch it. That's right. Guess what you have to do with um, with photography when you when you talk about waiting and waiting. I want to I want to tell you um, what I think is the the biggest um, tip that I've ever learned with photography in my years, and that is you have to be patient. That's why. And it's like for doing my show, I was saying I hope. Well, that was my dream to be on the show and do my own showing. Sometime, someday, it came true, and I'm doing that. You are, and and the patience paid off. And I I knew you were gonna you were gonna go places when you uh, were at the Sentinel because you had uh, ambitions and you had goals yeah. to do stuff, and you've achieved those goals. And um, that's the same way with photography. If you're, if you're a good photographer, you never stop learning. Um, and like if you're a TV host like you are, you keep learning about things and, um, and you get better and better and better at what you do. And so what, what I'm doing now is um, I'm, I'm teaching uh, a course uh, over at Keene State College and it's called the Call Course, which is a course uh, for folks who want to uh, extend their education beyond um, you know, a certain age, it's continuing yet. And um, it's called Cheshire Academy for Lifelong Learning. And so I teach um, an eight week course and there's, there's 14 people in my class. And guess what, that happens, uh, second class is tomorrow. And I hope the weather is good because we're gonna go on a field trip around Keene State and uh, take, try to take some foliage pictures oh, and other okay. pictures that are happening out there and uh, have some fun. So, get, you know, there's always things you can do. Once you change jobs, you can continue to do things that you like to do. Um, and for instance, with you, you liked the TV, so you continued to do stuff and then you got your own show. That's pretty neat, I think. Thank you. We have um, uh, any more pictures uh, up there that we could take a look at? Uh, oh, guess what this is? <laughs> Do you know what that might be? It's something on the branch. That's right. It's a bear. A bear. Yeah. Now those, you have to take a picture from far away mm -hmm. because bears are not tamed. They aren't. You have to be very careful. <laughs> and um, so, hey God, that that means that um, I didn't get very close, did I? No. Nope. Oh, that's something else. Well, I I have enjoyed uh, photography very much. I've enjoyed talking about photography. But you know, I've been really, really, really busy doing something else. Um, and guess what that is? The console. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm running for a city council in Ward 1 for the city of Keene. And so I haven't had quite as much time to go out and take pictures. And um, so um, that means that I have to learn all about the this, this city and how it works. And I'm looking forward to doing that. And what do you like about Keene? Um, well, 
I, I like living here. I like the people. But at one point is sometimes like the King Popkin Fast, I think it have to go much better than it did from last year. I didn't like what I saw. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if I were to, to win the uh, council position, uh, one of my main efforts is to um, help people who are on fixed incomes and, and can't afford um, a lot of things. And I mm -hmm. want to make sure that the, um, the taxes in Keene are okay so that they don't uh, have trouble paying for things. And you want the homeless to be helped too. Yep. Those people that are you know, very in need of things. So that's what I'm going to try to do is, is, is think of those people uh, as well as making Keene fancy with the buildings and other things. I want to think of the people as well. And I appreciate you being uh, able to have me on the show I, I, I'm, and to share my photography. Well, thank you for coming. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I really appreciate it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you.